Okay everyone, so today just gonna do a little review of the S20 Ultra. As you can see here, got the cameras in the back. Proof. <laughs> Alright, so it's at full brightness. Very bright. Let's see the camera here. And the photos. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Let's see this one. Colors are different. As you can see, colors are different. Got the wide, ultra wide and the wide and the telephone lens. Right here. We go back to the wide. Colors look really good. Two different color gamuts right here. This one is a little clearer. This one has a yellow tint to it. Boom. So let's take a sample here. Boom. I'm gonna look at this and look at this. Alright. So there's the result of that picture. Let's go to video. Quality is nice, just two different color cameras, that's all, pretty much. Really crisp. Alright. Bright? Is it just the light in here? Yeah, the guys, so look at this front facing quality here. As you can see, I'm recording with the iPhone XR. Much clearer on the Galaxy. See? Yeah, but it's not as realistic. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, looks kind of filtered. Yes. I'm gonna have a look at the light over there. You see the light? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna try out the single take feature on this device where you get different shots of an object from all the different cameras so let's go what's on single take boom capturing moments trying new angle funny faces all right so it's done let's see the result see we got a collage of different things captured on the one take so let's look at them all right so we have one here that's one shot looks really nice look at it and let's go back to gallery see here we have it also takes videos in single take mode it takes picture and videos so you get different modes even the black and white oh man look at that take videos let's play this video see what it looks like sound playback on the videos is pretty solid and the camera let's open that up let's go back to the front facing as you can see i'm using the xr for this recording and it's pretty nice pretty solid guys do you think i should go back to android comment below and let me know all right so i'm gonna have to uh, let me try this zoom lens pretty much see what it's about the zoom mm, you have a hundred times zoom look at this let's zoom in on that chart over there a uh, hundred X oh man it's too close let's go to 30x <laughs> 30x is still close 10x yep four times still clear still pretty clear at four times two times zoom is pretty good so overall i'm thinking it's a pretty solid device i think if you have a s10 i'm not sure unless you need that extra zoom then you need to upgrade or if you need something closer to a flat screen then this is pretty much the device to go to but overall it's a pretty solid device i have no complaints it's really nice yeah so using these devices one-handed i have pretty much um, my hand is not the biggest i have 
I would say average male hands and I hold this pretty easy I can reach the top of the screen bottom no problem so yeah if you were considering this phone and the size was an issue I wouldn't worry about it too much because you can actually get it actually is not as big as you might think so compared to the note 10 plus yeah about the same size as the ultra in height but the width on the ultra is a little thinner than the note plus note 10 plus so i would definitely go for the ultra it's not it's not bad as compared to what you see online when you see it in person is much smaller